Hello everyone, welcome to another game of Slipways. I decided to go back to challenging this time. Um, I didn't really enjoy the kind of end game of having a ton of money and then kind of being obliged to spend all of it as time with averted Slipways and just have a really, really long last couple of years. Um, so instead, I think I'll just keep trying to struggle for money and work, work on getting my economy to do more things and challenging. Uh, I had settled on a world with hosp a sector with hospitable, which you know should compensate for the difficulty some. And okay, it'll hurt my score, but at least I'll have fun on the way. More Earth-like planets should be nice. Who do we want to uh, do stuff? I don't know. Um, quantum sensors, quantum computing. I guess like wave augmentation is actually supposed to be totally fine. It seems weak to me because you get these like super long slipways and you have to pay a bunch for them. Uh, but I guess it can help if there's something you can't quite reach. And, you know, okay, fine. So these guys look okay. Quantum computing is an exciting way to rock it into more science uh, that I've never managed to actually use. How about the Dender? You can make food more easily on Forge World planets. This is kind of interesting because this is exactly what Earth-like planets put out when you when you send people to them. I think it's a, a Gaia world, right? Um, so if you sent people to an Earth world and then sent the results of that to a forage world, you would have food to send to a people world, right? So there's kind of a three-part loop there enabled by this. If you had like two Earth-like planets next to a forage world, which okay, that's a little optimistic, but wouldn't it be nice? And technology-wise, they have culture hubs. And cultural, sorry, and genesis cells which seems like it would help maybe with all the Earth-like planets, you could and maybe even nutrition, right? You could produce enough uh, output for two Forge worlds to be fed, maybe? I don't know, like, how often are you going to have, like, an Earth world next to two Forge worlds, each of which are next to a planet that you want to give food to? Maybe not so often. Um, culture hubs are exciting, though. Like, anything that can produce culture. I think maybe cultural exchange is even better. Um, just as kind of like, this is a, a technology that gets you kind of the same benefit as the prosperity perk. Because you're... Well, not really, because it only works for people producing planets. I don't know, these guys have a lot of stuff that I kind of would like to see. And to do all this, okay, we still need some money at some point. One thing that I only realized in my last game is that infraspace uh, is not like a technology that you have to find on one of your council races. Rather, it's the upgraded version of slipstream relays which always appear regardless of your council. So you, you always have access to some kind of fancy routing, even if it's just infraspace. Um, hyperdrive is, you know, you can get it sooner and it's not exactly more flexible, it's differently flexible. Anyway, so what, what do these guys do? They don't have the thing where you start with extra money, which I like a lot on challenging. Tourist resort is actually kind of a neat way to, to get money early, I think. If we're going to have all these Earth-like planets, we maybe don't want all of them to produce people or whatever, and we do need a way to make money. And these worlds can become prosperous very easily. Also, oh, this has geo-harvesting? Is that what that is? Oh, yeah. 
So maybe we don't need Xenotourism. Maybe we just take Geo Harvesting and try blowing up some some planets. These guys have like a ton of money related technologies. And artifact trading might free up some of our forge worlds so that I can afford to use use them for food. I don't know. This seems playable. I don't know exactly what the plan is, but I'd like to do some things with this. Okay. Um, how, how do we scan this region? It's kind of a crummy region, isn't it? Not very many large signals. I guess this is kind of the best place you can start. If you do that, you have this and then this. Sure. Ocean and arid. Don't those like each other somehow? Yeah, people into water and water into people is a nice start. Nice two-way opening as long as we can find some way to make food. And we can make artifacts here to uh, get these guys to grow more. But no easy way to get food, huh? I guess another option would be that two-way trade. And then we could get food in like this. We still have to get biomass here, but... Yeah, here's an Earth-like planet, for example. Two Earth-like planets right next to each other. What a heaven. Okay, so that's got to be something good, right? There's there's definitely a loop here. Um, the obvious one is this, I think. Oh wait, this is the remnant planet. Well, hmm. It would be nice to have an Earth-like next to an Arid, but I don't quite have that. I have two Earth-likes next to each other, which of course you can use them and uh, it feels a little bit wasteful, like to use two of them for a single setup. And they don't even really synergize that well because I don't have uh, like a Primordial in the way. Like I, I want the Primordial to, to make my food. Or what if I just made robots here? I had the idea of artifacts, but I guess I don't have to. I don't know, this... I feel like robots are the worst thing you could make on that planet. You could either make minerals to feed the ocean. Okay, chips might be even worse. Uh, you could make minerals to get the ocean going. Or you could make artifacts to help these worlds grow later. Um, but I want to use the primordial world for food, not, not use robots and use up one of the Earth-like, or one of the habitable planets for food. So if we're doing that, this is the only way to get biomass there. Fine. Now, this food could reach this arid planet, I guess. But there's no way to get it water if you... I mean, like... Right? I, I still think this is... Better. And then you get the minerals from here. Right? We get a nice two-way trade. And we have a leftover source of... biomass and water mostly water of course down here i think that's totally worth starting with uh 
We do these first, of course, so that we get the most income possible over the first year. It's the, the only two-way trade part of the deal. Invent technology, increase population by five. Uh, pairs of plants with two-way trades. That should be pretty easy with Earth-like worlds. Right, for example... Wait. I thought there was some two-way trade involving this. I guess it's... There's definitely a two-way trade with this, but I don't remember what it is. I guess with, like, arid worlds? But okay, fine. So population by five should be pretty achievable. This is going to go up by one as soon as I connect it. And then it's just like another world, basically, that if I make this successful... Oh, this wants ocean. This wants water now, so I can feed that in as well. That's nice. So that'll help this Earth-like planet get successful. Yeah, I think population by five is something we can do fairly soon. I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to get science going. I would like to soon, of course, but money is important too. Okay. So this is not, I don't know. I wonder sometimes about like setups like this where you have a planet that's completely enclosed within a triangle. It makes it really hard to improve it more in the long, like when, when you start wanting this to be successful, for example. There's no one, no way to use the second food here. Maybe that's something I should be thinking about more is like not just forming a loop, but one that doesn't trap planets inside of it. It's a little late now to make that change, but something to work on in the future, perhaps. Um, having done all this, I think we keep scanning. I'd love a way to get, I mean, really people or um, people to this room would help because we could get more produced out of this, but also food to this world. Sorry. If I had another source of people, these could both produce a bunch of stuff and I could get like two starter labs maybe? Which a source of people would be how I would power the labs actually, so that'd be really cool. I don't think it's that likely though. Is that actually hitting this one? It is. No, it's not. Okay. Oh well. Um, I do want to scout out over in this direction though. This is where I'd like to... well, so much for that. I mean, the primordial world can reach here. But, okay, this maybe was a better scan, actually. Hmm. Nothing much going on down here. I mean, I could try doing a similar thing, pass biomass in here, or pass food in here, make people here. Um, but I don't have a way to get food over there just yet. I have to get biomass here. Oh, a forebear ruins looks exciting. And there's this swamp. It could produce more biomass. A 
Forge World. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what this is up to. Getting eight science. Or just producing goods, which would make these guys successful instantly. That needs me to establish more two-way trade. But it would be nice, like, I could put maybe another populated world, a colony here, somehow. Hopefully. Well, I mean, this is promising, I think. I don't know. It's also, a colony would also be nice either, really. Um, this might help me get a, a biomass lab going in, in this area. If I could find another source of people for this, which is not so easy. Okay, I guess we just get to scout two at a time. Primordial world, well... Could make water here and send it to the arid planet. We'd have to nuke the asteroid, of course, but that's fine. That kind of closes this area off again, meaning that I couldn't get more stuff in here. It doesn't close off any planets, but... I don't know. It does block... Well, let's see what this is. Can I, can I reach that? It doesn't look like I can. I don't know why they include stuff on the periphery that you can't get to even with a, the closest possible scan. I feel like that should just stay hidden, but whatever. It's a pretty minor complaint and not even clear that my way would be better. It just seems to make sense, you know? Okay, so two primordial worlds near each other is pretty exciting, I think. Mm, well, I guess you would want something like this, right? to make more people and more biomass. The world you're closing in is a desert world, so it doesn't really matter. I guess the problem is there's no, the biomass doesn't actually connect up with anything else when you do this. Um, have I found any forge worlds? Here's one. I guess that's the only one, right? Yeah. Um, what would I like to do with that? Maybe is another question to ask. Um, it can reach this Arctic world, so we could consider um, sending bots to it. But we're not going to get, like, much to do like there's all these primordial worlds that can make food and don't want food so i feel like using an arctic world for it is very much the wrong idea what if i make the arctic world um into another colony wait I, I just made both of these do the same thing. That's not what I want. You are supposed to do that. We can't ship the food back here. Because there will be this li line in the way. But we, also, we do also get some double trade here, which is really nice. I 
Oh my god, I'm almost broke already. Are you kidding me? This game. Uh, okay. How much... I can't afford to do both of these and then connect them in a year? Yeah. But I could, like, found this. And then Asteroid, maybe? And then this. Still can't afford it. One more asteroid? And it sneaks in under the wire for the year. So I get the income from it. 26 instead of 20 is a nice boost. And I guess... Connecting these doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. It will, though, if we unlock Cultural Exchange at some point. So that's kind of a nice bonus. Hmm. I suppose that means we wouldn't... Like, what I want to do right now is build a big old juicy biomass lab, right? Right in here? Like that. And then lab here. The problem is... Well, first of all, I picked the wrong task. I should have taken this one, I think. But I don't have quite enough people in here until I get this successful. Because one of you, you can send people here and you'll get more people soon, so that'll be fine. You'll have one left. I guess it's fine. I'll just, I'll just only be sending one, one person to the, uh, to the lab. All right. Um. I'm so broke, are you kidding me? I want this lab, but... How are you supposed to do anything? Oh yeah. Oh, we unlocked this! How perfect! Okay. Now... If I send it to these guys, it's kind of getting in the way of the lab. Plus, of course, at the moment, I can't afford it. But that's something we could maybe look, we could maybe look forward to sending it here. Like, put... Oh, this is a forge world. Here. No, we didn't put people there. I don't know. Over here, maybe. Maybe we can get food here, and that would be lovely. And... Yeah, that's in range. I just uh, can't do it yet. All right, so let's see what my new tasks are. My income's looking pretty good. 40 a year is a lot. I'm just spending a lot. This is my remnant world, right? Yeah. So I just need someone else to take minerals. not so easy to find at the moment but it seems simpler than anything else like this is a food producing world that I could maybe make successful by digging around in here but it's not obvious also I took the right tasks as it turns out because um, building labs is friggin impossible
I think I should just take these two successful worlds. Getting two food producing? Well, mm, I'm not so sure actually. It might be better to go for this because my food processing producing worlds are not that well situated. To add more inputs and outputs to. This is just something that'll eventually happen without needing to really work for it. It's, it's something that's desirable to do anyway. Now, sadly, I can't do much with the end of this year. Harvest this asteroid to maybe do a little scanning. I really, yeah, I mean, this is this huge area of opportunity that I would love to do some stuff with. I'd also love to still have 40 bucks. But time is pretty important, and there could be really exciting opportunities here. For example, a remnant world. We could ship goods in here. It would still be kind of hard to get it too successful, actually. Well, let's see what this is. Another asteroid. And an ocean world. So this is a nice two-way trade we could do. Although using the remnant world to make minerals when there's a mineral planet right next to it kind of feels bad. Let's, let's start by just grabbing another asteroid to stall for time and end the year. It would be nice to pick up these two planets first, but I'm not sure I'll ever even really do that, and at least this way I get my income. And now it's pretty important to start on the lab, I think. Although, oh, you don't have any biomass left? You sent it all away? You gave these guys extra, huh? Well, I could connect you here, and then you would become successful and produce more biomass, right? Yeah. So I think this lab is really important. This we're doing for sure. I think we want... Oh my god. It's so expensive! Oh, I can't reach? I put the lab in a bad place. Let's try putting it further down here so that the places that can give it input right now are cheapest to link up. Yeah, I'm still $10 short. Yikes. I'm only producing one science? Like, I don't even know if it's really worth it. Maybe it would be better to get these guys to successful first, produce more trade. Like, let's actually look at how much... This is plus nine money, right? This is also plus nine? Because they're getting more imports, I guess. But your trade income is ten, and you have how many exports? One... Well, I can just look. Two. Your trade income is also 10. So neither of you is getting, like, a bonus. I think if you maybe traded with another successful world, you might. Yeah, trade income is now 16. So it went up by 6 for that trade instead of the usual 5. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because these two are successful or because... The total reached 15, and then the multiplier... I don't know. Is it that this one trade produces one extra dollar, or that this being successful and having 15 instead of 10 produces one extra dollar? I don't know. I 
I mean, it would be cool to connect that up. I obviously don't want to do it because of the biomass lab that I'm building. I think if I'm not doing that, I should build this remnant planet. It gets me a two-way trade and increases income a fair bit, I assume. Yeah, you're at 16 as well. Or would it be better to go to the mineral world and then this forge world? Reserve the remnant world for something else? Like, I don't know what. Feeding this ocean was something that looked kind of appealing? Actually, wait a minute. There's food lying around that we could just ship to the ocean planet, and these guys would love that. So that's what the ocean world should do almost certainly. Or can you reach the arid world? You could. Problem is, the only source of water is this ocean, and we can't get people to it easily. Oh, no, of course we can, from here. From the arid world. This is exciting. Yeah, this will help my trade income quite a bit, I think. Okay, this is the most important one to get, because it's two-way. And I have no asteroids around. And then when this becomes an artifact planet, it can feed both of these guys, which is perfect. The problem is I can't do that and then end the year. <laughs> What I, what I want to do is spend a little time scanning and then establish this colony so that it... or this remnant world. So that it... Um, doesn't cost me upkeep this year. But I don't have enough money to scan and then build this, so I think it would be just like scan. The problem is like I'm I still don't have enough money to do the stuff I wanted to do here. I guess I did some of it already. I, I got partway there by establishing this, and now it won't be quite as expensive to build the lab. So maybe I can squeeze it in next year. And this remnant planet would be very happy. Ah. Oh, you guys are going to give me science. You're not going to give me any money. What could I do with 10 science? I haven't even looked at what's available. I'd have 12. I mean, culture hubs, I guess? But I don't know that I want that. I might prefer to try and jump straight to cultural exchange. So I have several places where there are two. Can't afford that. Where there are two uh, people producing worlds that could be connected to each other but aren't yet. I think I'm just going to scan a little bit more. Is that where I want to scan? This could be okay. I don't know, I think this is more exciting. An asteroid! I love asteroids. I forgot that's a thing you could find. So now I can actually do a somewhat efficient thing this year, right? First of all, I think I could connect this. You would not be unhappy, and we would get some trade. Now, 
at this point, I can't do anything this year. I would have to actually pass. Am I willing to do that? I think so. That was a pretty nice deal to get. To have these guys producing money instead of losing it is nice. And not adding to my unhappiness. Alternatively, I could do this and have enough left to scan again. The difference here is 53 income versus 57. And I don't lose any happiness. I think I'll try this. Although, wait, I lose, I get, <laughs> I get a little, I get the, the same amount of unhappiness just in a different way. They have unemployment, but I guess that doesn't stick around. I don't totally understand how like shortages stick around. I think they don't for a little while, as long as you don't let them build up for too long. So would I rather have like four dollars or a turn? Probably the four dollars, honestly. And we can do this. There's some two-way trade. This will be some more two-way trade. Oh, you're not successful until you get water. I forgot about that. I think it's still useful to do. Our income shot way up as a result of that. So can I get the lab in this, this year? after doing this stuff, or do I have to roll some of that back if I want science? So my dream is this. I mean, I can get a small lab. Can't afford. How much is it? 17. This is another reason, by the way, to want $4 instead of a turn, is that, like, if I do the stuff I want to do this year, I'm going to run out of money before I run out of turns. I can't, like, build it closer somehow and make it useful, like, here. There's, like, there's an effect where the, the last few feet of a slipway cost you the most, I think. So, like, from here to here is only three. And that's 12. And that's eight. So I, it might be better if I moved it still further up. Kind of, like, exactly in between these two planets, I think. Nine and eleven, that's the same. Okay, well, we just won't build the lab yet. We apparently need to establish more trade, more successful planets. We actually got a really nice little cluster of successful guys here. And plenty of money to go digging for more stuff. Or, probably better yet, establishing more trade with what we already have. So we could get minerals, and with minerals we could get something here. But I kind of want these guys to go work at the lab anyway. Let's just see what this is. No one can reach that, can they? Yeah. A swamp doesn't generate water, only biomass. This asteroid is not connected to anything yet. And what about this Earth world? Earth like world. We liked this idea. Well, wait a minute. No, we already have that. Wasn't there? There's an arid here. Can we do something with that? We can get water in and send people out, but where will I get the food? Can't get it from here. All right, let's scan this. A lot of minerals. 
not presently very helpful. You're very close to actually prospering, aren't you? If I just send in some people and then send your biomass to a lab, you'll you'll prosper. That would be pretty exciting, wouldn't it? We also only need one more two-way trade to get a bunch of money. Maybe I should look into that to finish the lab. I guess not this year, but just in general because a bunch of money and two-way trades are both good things. Too bad I can't melt this. I could get a total of one science this year if I just built the lab immediately. No, I don't, even, I don't have enough money to build the lab immediately. Let's just scan, see what I can get over here. Okay, an asteroid and an Earth-like planet, both very desirable. I kind of can't do anything with this at the moment, I think. Uh, there's this arctic planet, though. Wait a minute. Should I be doing something with this? Biomass and, like, everything needs robots, and I just don't have any forge worlds. Except for the, the one, you know, that doesn't require robots, which I don't need. I don't have... Well, I have biomass. Wait, I have biomass and food right here. I can just put people down, right? That seems pretty cool. On the other hand, you... Your biomass is kind of spoken for. It's going to the lab, I think. So I don't actually have biomass here. What if I just started on this? Oh. Right, that doesn't happen this, uh... Doesn't give me any income this year. And I'm not really ready to finish it, I think. I don't have any water. But I think it's an okay thing to start, just because getting this to Prosperous will kind of make up for the downside this has, and it gets us into the next year without paying for upkeep on more stuff. So you just need to do this to Prosper. But I guess that's a lower priority. I, I have enough to finish the lab. There. We can make this prosperous while we're at it. I'll st I still feel a little bad about the lab. I wish I could get more biomass to it, but I just like clearly can't. Um, I wonder, though, if I should reorder things a little. Well, okay, I guess what I should do is, given that I have enough time this year to do some stuff here, I should see if I can, like, how would I even... What kind of planet am I looking for that would send me back water? I guess an ocean planet, right? That would be the dream. A two-way trade satisfying this and also fulfilling that planet's needs and this guy's needs. How many months do I have left? There's 12 in the year, and I want to do two, three, four, five, six, seven things with what I have right now. So I have five months to play with. I want to do the probing first. Could check this out. 
But I might need those people for something else. I, I want I want to do that later. So if I find an ocean, what could I do? I could colonize it, connect it here, then do all this stuff. Or just like, don't colonize it yet, do all this stuff, connect here to get you prosperous, and plan next year to colonize the ocean world, I guess. I'm actually going to go with this. Because it gets the most, it scans the most things that could reach here. No, because I, I, I want this scan to be available. Earth-like? That's good enough. I was thinking ocean, this might even be better. Uh, but... Oh, I, I don't want to colonize it, but I haven't yet. Okay. So, we, we now put in the lab. Wait, do I have enough time? Maybe I do. Yeah, there's just enough time to finish this off. Ah. Does it give me more income to have these guys prosperous or to turn you successful? Wait, where are you getting food from? I'm just bad. I thought you needed food. I thought you... I thought what you needed was water. But you need both water and food. <laughs> Alright, well, there'll be something over here I can turn into food, hopefully. So we'll connect this up with our last action this year. Oh, that doesn't even do anything because you're not... You don't have any people left to trade. Well, I could do this instead. Scan first. No sources of food. Could connect here. Do I have any science that's going to maybe unlock food? Like, not really? That increases my income by only four. And it takes away options here a lot. I feel like this might be a better investment. And if the arid planet has to suffer forever because I settled it in haste, I guess whatever. What is my current task? Just discover... No, get a remnant planet successful. You're a remnant planet, right? But you need somewhere... Because if I, if I did this and got, like, eight science, plus the two I have for connecting, plus this, I'd be at 16 already. Which is geo-harvesting range. That's very useful. And putting robots here to make food out of the Earth-like planet is okay, I guess. It doesn't get us water, though. I don't have any text that'll produce water. I can, I can make water, no problem, right? And I'd love to do that. But... That doesn't help with the remnant planet getting successful, and then there's no way to get food here. Oh, wait, yeah, there is. I can synthesize it on this planet. Okay, so it doesn't help you get successful, but maybe that's an acceptable consequence? Yeah, this is like the only way I can make this arid planet not suffer. So let's connect this up to get a bit more income over the course of the year, and then build here. Oh, ordering is very confusing here, isn't it? I might not be able to afford to send them here because 
I might need these people. Right? Yeah, I don't think I can actually afford to connect up here right now. Um, I need a person to send here because I need two water out of the Gaia world. And I only have one person to kickstart that process. Really, I need three, but we're not going to get that anytime soon. Oh, it, it only produces extra when it's at level three. Am I going to get it there? If I have to send both of these inputs to the Forge world... Maybe it's better to go to this mineral world and then forge and make food the natural, normal way? But then I don't get water. Okay, so let's, let's look at this, this again. You have... At level three, you you have enough, but you're not you can't get to level three. I don't have enough nearby to do it because I need you. Fine, you can export two things. I need to give you like two people to get you to level three. And where would they come from? Maybe here. Can't reach. Huh. So if I did this instead... That works, but I never get any water. Also, you need an export route. There's not really anywhere to do that. You could use some water. Maybe I should work over here instead? It would be nice, I guess, to make another colony here. could make chips to power this but I'm not I'm not getting any water here as a result of all this what about this earth-like planet I can't I can't do anything useful with it I feel like Okay, well, there are some techs I have that could help, right? Maybe I, maybe Xenotourism would let me use the Earth-like jungle or ocean planet for something simpler. Like here. Maybe I could just make this a tourist world. Or even here? But what I want is <laughs> the water and the biomass. I need another populated world out here somewhere. Maybe the thing to do is just go for this, get some income, and expect to find a world over here that I can put people on because I have access to food. Right? Like, here or something? You really gonna do me like that? I can't reach all three of these? Okay, these two then. Well, these three. 
There's a jungle. It wants food and it can make people. It needs chips, but we can we can work on that. No, no, we can't go in that order. I think. Maybe I can, I don't know. I think I can't. Okay. Now there's still nowhere to send these stupid minerals, so I can't get the Vittori stuff. But I can bring the food in here and you guys become successful. Well, you're successful and you're established. And cultural exchange is looking really hot in here. I mean, I guess we can't connect these two yet. I, I put the lab in knowing that... I don't know. Maybe it was wrong. No, because I needed to send biomass in from the top and the bottom. Which means no matter what I do, there's no place to connect these two until I get, like, advanced technology, like, infraspace or something. Or, or hyperdrive, I guess, would do it. Uh, but that's a ways in, in the future. It would be nice. You know, we would get cultural exchange and stuff. Um... Now, right, this uses up all your water, so we can't send any here, but you don't really care. You just want to be able to export more. We're generating a ton of money. It is 3409, so like... It makes sense. We're a little bit late enough that I, but in a lot of my recent games, I feel like at this year I'm still like struggling a lot money-wise on challenging. So maybe things are going right here? On the other hand, I don't have any texts that are useful. <laughs> Would wave augmentation help me? Is there anywhere that I just wish I could reach? Like I have the right planet but I can't get to it? I mean, keep in mind, I could, like, you know, take the somewhat worse option here just to get the science faster. If, like, 18 science were really useful to me, I could have 18 right now. But I don't feel like I need geo-harvesting at the moment. We're doing pretty well for money. Maybe better sensors is a thing. What I should look at is another lab, actually. I have water and people here. And I could maybe get more water from this. Yes, this year I should establish another lab, I think. This plan is just going to have to suffer for a little while. But I can put together a pretty solid lab with no particular work right here. What's going on? Oh, it's researching the wrong thing because of what order I built stuff in. Ah, connecting it here ate up the water. I have to go this way first. And say, please bring in the water. It's only three. But eventually we'll get the ability to take this in, probably, somehow. I mean, it, it would be pretty reasonable to pick up Geo Harvesting as one of my low tech, low tier techs. But I feel like Wave Augmentation. 
Yeah, maybe these are the two that I want. I don't know, quantum sensors are kind of cool. Suppose I took that. How far... Oh, wow. Look at that. We can try to solve these guys' problem. Or check this area out. And look for another mineral consumer. I think I'll try this. It should be fun. No mineral consumers still. I just can't get rid of this stuff. Huh. Well, my labs kind of stink, but I'm doing the best I can. Let's do a quick scan up here and see if I can get more from this. There's a forge world, but it can't reach this arctic world. If I blew up a planet, it could. But then I wouldn't have the materials. Just out of curiosity. Now, I mean... I don't know. I still can't reach this Forge world. Really, wave augmentation hasn't really helped anything. We could look over here. There might be more water just sitting around. Or a forge world. Yeah. Right? So... Minerals to forge world to... Arctic world to water. Where are we getting people to give... Put on the mineral world? Good question. Nowhere? I hate it. This world could also make food. To put over here. Get more people there. I don't know that I want more people. And they already could reach food. Right, like that. Ah, well, okay, so maybe... Maybe I can get people from here, of course. I already have food there, right? Wait, why can't you reach that? You totally could. Oh, but you don't have people. You want people. So I could do this. I just had some deja vu, like I recorded this video four years ago or something. Definitely didn't happen. Just thought I'd let you guys know. <laughs> do with that completely useless information whatever you want. So we connect all this up. And turn this into robots. Which we will send here to make water. Which these guys will also want, by the way. Now that I've grabbed all these places, let's take the asteroid. Oh, that's not the lab. Okay, at least we improved the lab a bit. And I have so much tech now. 
What I really want is quantum computing. Increase my science more. What else could I build a lab for? Also, what are these guys? They want me to get a remnant planet successful. It's so hard. They won't give me any water. Mom, they won't give me any water. Come on. All you need is some water. It's just maddening. And you, there's someone over here, isn't there? You, you just need to give away the garbage that you're already making. But you won't do it. I couldn't find anyone to eat it. Um, even with wave augmentation, I, I don't see where I could send it. I could have used this Forge World, of course. But I feel like it became pretty happy. I see. It doesn't need any more inputs, but it just becomes prosperous if you give it more more trading partners. Which is kind of hard, actually, right? It's already using up all three of its food. So to give it more... It needs, like, I guess any input, basically. And then it produces more food. I don't particularly need more food, but... What if I had 28 science? What could I do with that? I could take quantum computing now, actually. If I were willing to settle for just xenotourism as like a mediocre, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm pretty happy about the idea of wave augmentation. I just haven't found a use for it yet. Or I don't know, maybe still geo harvesting. I feel like we're doing pretty well on money. You, you could always do better, but right now I don't need to prioritize that. I need to like make more science. Anyway, I keep looking at the clock being like, oh, it's almost an hour, and like, I, I should end soon, but it's like, the last time I checked was apparently ten minutes ago. It just felt like seconds ago. This game flies by. Anyway, so we'll, we'll, we'll take a break here, and uh, in the next episode we'll continue this run. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.